Hello and welcome to Series Capades. This is yet another update on my seedlings. As you can see, I've got two seedling greenhouses in front of me. On this side, this is the batch where I just harvested the seeds from Echeverias in my garden. And on this side, this contains the batch that I manually pollinated myself and I harvested and sowed the seeds. Today is the 4th of December, which means that this batch right here is about two months now. And this one is about two and a half weeks. And that's based on the date that they were sold. I'm going to remove the leads now so we can have a better look. From where I'm standing, right off the bat, I can see lots and lots of seedlings that have germinated. But let's compare based on what we saw in the last update. I think the last update was about a week or just a little more than a week ago. So there's been a, there's been a number of days since then. And I think it would be fair to expect some changes, some improvements since then. So let's get to it now. I'm going to use a second camera to give you a better vantage point. That way I don't have to remove that camera from the tripod and go back and forth here. Instead, I could just have that rolling and capture some footage of this one. So let's have a look on this tray. This is the first batch where I harvest. I simply harvested echeverias from my, from my garden. And let's have a look at the seedlings now. I didn't use my macro rings because I wanted to show you how it looks like in person. They are quite big as you can see. These are my fingers and compared to my fingers, you can see that they have grown quite a bit. Now looking at what I can see here, it looks like it's still the existing, it's still the same cells as last time. The rest of the cells didn't seem to germinate, so I would consider them failed by now. The ones that have already sprouted are going strong though. As you recall, column B, these are all elegants, and this is the column which is showing me lots of growth. Just looking at the sheer number of seedlings that have germinated, I would call this a success. Compared to the last update, which was the sixth week update for this batch, it looks like more and more of them are showing a second set of leaves now. I'm wondering if any of them are showing a third set. I don't see a third set yet though, but who knows, maybe in a few days, in a week, we'll get there. And apart from this column with the elegance, column B, I see cell A1 pushing out a new germination again, a new seedling. And cell A1 contains seeds that are harvested from my Echeveria Romeo. It's going to be quite interesting to see what they look like once they grow. Time will tell. I'm just going to cover this now and set it aside. And now let's scoot over to this batch. Now this batch contains seeds and seedlings which I manually pollinated myself and essentially they are my own hybrids or hybrids that I created myself. Compared to the other tray, there's a lot of germinations here. I can see that most of the cells contain tiny seedlings, still tiny but they're there. And compared to last week, I can see a lot more germinations now. I can see seedlings across the board, it's not just uh, specific cells, specific rows or columns, which tells me that I likely did it correctly, you know? So it's not isolated to a single plant or a single flower. It looks like almost all of the seeds that I harvested are viable. Now looking at it with my bare eyes without the aid of my macro lens, I can't help but notice this one. I think this might be a weed or grass, but for some reason the leaves <laughs> look like the, the Echeveria seedlings, but the way it grows, it's growing differently from them, so I think I, I don't think it's an echeveria. Now I picked up my notebook because I wanted to see which seedlings are which. So column A here sells A1 to A4. According to my notes, this is a hybrid based on Echeveria agavoides and Echeveria bella rouge. And the seed parent is the Agavoides and the pollen parent or the parent where I got the pollen from is the Bella Rouge. In the next column or column B, according to my notes, it is Echeveria colorata as the seed parent and Echeveria orion as the pollen parent. Oh, that's only for B1 and B2. For B3 and B4, that is Pachyveria bea crossed with Echeveria lola. That's interesting. 
For column C, I've sold the hybrid based on Echeveria Mira as the seed parent and Echeveria Bluebird as the pollen parent. I see a few germinated seedlings here but I'm not sure I could call this a success yet. I'm still going to give it a bit of time but I'm not crossing my fingers. Now finally for columns E and F, I've got the Echeveria Bella Rouge as the seed parent and Echeveria Romeo as the pollen parent. There's a few seedlings here that germinated but I would call this a low success. So this side here is more successful compared to the other side. And I wonder what the difference is. I'm just switching to my macro setup now so you could have a closer view. Let's take a look at the successful seedlings. Let's cut. You know what, my keeping the substrate a bit wet and keeping the lid on to keep it humid might have worked because compared to this one, this one has dried out a few times before. This batch on the other hand, lots more successful germination here so I guess there was just enough humidity, you know, just enough humidity for them to survive and to thrive. I might have to water this again later. <laughs> In any case, it's nice to see that my own hybrids are doing a lot better than the ones that have been naturally pollinated. Although, the ones that did germinate are quite healthy. The, the seedlings are quite plump, quite fat, which means that they're doing alright. I think they would be, give a bit of time, maybe a month, another month or so, and they would be established. Maybe they would be looking like actual echeverias already, small plants. But until then, I'm not going to hold my breath, and I hope that they continue to do well and not dry out in this Melbourne summer. So with all of that said, I'll see you in the next update. Bye.